Hello all, welcome back. In this session, we are going to understand how do we import the Kaggle data set into the Colab. It's a set of procedures that you need to follow, but it is easy and it can be understood with ease and I'm going to explain you step by step on the process. The first step that you need to understand is to visit to the Kaggle website, kaggle.com. The moment you go in there, for example, let me start from the beginning. I'm closing it and I am going into the website. So the moment you go in, if you already have an account, you will get this page. And if you do not have an account, you can register and it's a half a minute process, not more than that. So Kaggle has got a rich set of data sets with it, which you can use for machine learning and deep learning stuff. And it's very useful data set for all the data aspirants. Now, what do we do? We need to first sign in and that's what I have done right now. Then we need to go to our profile. So here there is an icon. You can see that just click it. This is the profile. And in that you have something called as account. Just click that account and the moment you click it, you will be taken to the account section of the login. Now you can scroll down where you will get all the account details. And the most important point is we have to generate an API token which will be used from the Colab for you to access the Kaggle data set. I repeat, we have an API token to be generated from the Kaggle for us to access Kaggle from Colab. So how do I do it? I have an option here called as API token. So create new API token and I click, it will be generated and you will get this message. Ensure Kaggle.json is in the location, Kaggle slash Kaggle.json to use the API. I'll tell you how to use it. We will go to that step a little later, but it has to be downloaded and you will find it in your download section. This is available here. Let's go to the download section to see if it is available there. It's there. So can we open it and see what exactly is there? It will have a username and it will have a key which is nothing but the password. So this is generated now and the first step is done. We are done with the first step. Now what is the next step to go? We have generated an API token which will have the username and the password. Now where do we go? We need to go to our Google account. You please log in into your Google account. I have done that. I have got one of the Google accounts and I have logged in. Now what do we do? You need to go to the drive. You need to go to Google Drive. I'm getting into it right away. So this is the first step that you need to do. Remember, this is the second half of the process where you are going to now do something very interesting. Now, if you do a right click here as I'm doing, you can go to more. And if you see that here, there is something called as Google Collaboratory. So you are going to create a Google, a Google Collab file here. And that's going to be created right now. You can see that here, I have right clicked it and I have opened it. That's all. So it may take half a minute for you to get it done and you have got the collab file open and I'm going to rename the file as Kaggle trial something you can you can name it the way you want. So it's not a big deal. So Kaggle trial dot IPNY IPN IPYNB. So we have created a Kaggle trial file. Now what do we do? We need to go ahead with step by step process through which we are going to get the Kaggle data set live into this Google Colab. So I got the commands ready for you. I'm going to paste this also in the description section so that you can easily follow it. So what is the first step? The first step is to go ahead and install the Kaggle. How do we do that? We have got install Kaggle option with pip install and I'm going to do that right now. So let's go ahead and run this code. Now, once it is done, you can see that it is running. It may take some time based on the connectivity and stuff. So you may have to wait and you can see that it's still connecting. So you may have to wait. So once it is initialized, once it is run, you will get the process up and running. So it may take some time at least for the first time. So now it is all done. You can see that it's getting executed and this is done. The first step is over. I have installed Kaggle with pip install hyphen Q Kaggle. Now, what is the next step to do? We need to upload the kaggle.json file. I have got a JSON file which has got my username and password, right? I need to open it and I need to upload it. What is the command for that, sir? Yes, we have a command available for that. So from google.colab, import files have to be used and files.upload option has to be enabled. Now, how do I do it? I am doing it here. You can see that. So the moment I do it, I'll get an option where I can upload the downloaded kaggle.json file. The moment it is done, it will go ahead of the process and you will get a message as 100% done. 
the moment you get 100% done message you can understand that that is over so let's issue the next set of commands which are connected to the process now what are we going to do i am going to create a kaggle directory if you already have a directory it will show a message saying that you already have a directory so cannot recreate it if you do not have it it will get it created and that's what is happening here i have created a kaggle directory well what is the next step we are going to go with more interesting steps and it is easy to do also now what are we going to do we are going to copy the json folder i mean json file kaggle.json file into the folder that we have created so we are going to copy the kaggle.json file to the folder that we have created that's what i am doing right now and you could see that it is also done successfully now what is the next step to do we need to grant appropriate permissions there are permissions that are connected to each and every file and as you know we need to use chmod command to change the permissions of the json file whichever we have been using so let me issue that and you can see that the permissions are also changed right now it's a step by step process please do not miss anything right we will now understand what are all the available data sets we need to list the data sets which are available in the kaggle and for us to get that information we are going to use the command kaggle data sets list this will immediately list all the available data sets with kaggle and this is going to be very helpful for you to understand which is the one that you are looking for remember this will help you in understanding the data sets that you are looking for it now what is the next step that we need to do now we are going to get the google collab with any of the data sets from the kaggle so i have got lot of data sets in kaggle so i am going to take up one of the data sets which is called as dogs versus cats data set in the kaggle so let's go to kaggle again so you can see that here there is a dogs versus cat data set available there there is another dogs versus cat data set available there we can choose any of this this is dogs versus cat redux kernel edition so this has got 1314 teams 4 years ago this has been updated you can go through all the details of it if you want and this provides you the complete detail about the data set now what are we going to do we are going to use this data set in the google collab we are going to access this from the google collab so how do we do it very simple see that carefully we are going to click on the data part of it i'm going to click on the data part of it and i have clicked it and there you can see that there is a command that is available and this is the one that we need to use towards including this particular data set into your collab so i am going to run it right now and once it is done you can see the message as downloading happens the test and the training data set is all getting downloaded and it will all happen in few seconds so it is 100% done here and we have got all the data sets downloaded i mean the testing and the training data set downloaded now where do we go we are in the google collab itself now we need to understand if we have got this things downloaded appropriately i mean if you have got the data set imported appropriately now click this button this is called the table of contents button and in that we have got multiple options here you can see that we have got files options available there the moment you click it you can see that we have got test.zip and train.zip so whatever you have got here in terms of you importing it is all available here this is how you can verify and validate if you have gotten the files appropriately available in the collab now what is the next step to do sir very simple we need to go ahead and extract this zip files that's the most important step right we need to extract i mean unzip the zip files how do we do it very simple the commands are also very easy to use and all these commands are available online and i have summarized it for your easier usage so what do we do first we are going to unzip the training.zip file so how do we do it it's very easy to do and i have done that right now so it will inflate that particular zip and once it is done you can see the number of files which are getting pulled out i mean unzipped out of this training data set now what do we do we need to do the same for testing isn't it we need to do that and we are unzipping the training and the testing data set one after another so now it is done with that test now it goes on for about 1 minute for you to completely get everything out there and it's pretty easy for you to understand that
that's it you have unzipped the data set which are available from the kaggle and you have accessed it through the cola now how am i very sure that these are the files that are required i mean these are the contents that are required for me or these are the contents that are available in kaggle just go here see the name of the file test.zip and train.zip now come here you can see that test.zip and train.zip that's it you have got the work done you have already imported the files from i mean the data set from the kaggle into your cola and you can start using it i hope you understood the process very clearly and it was easy for you to uh, uh, understand it completely and if you have any questions please come back to me through the comment section i'll be happy to answer you thank you very much and if you like the channel and the content please give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you